Welcome to the third APU installation video. This video will cover the installation of the underbed box or UBB, the evaporator, and the thermostat. Remember to keep safety in mind. The UBB is the connection hub for the APU system. The UBB is installed on the bunk floor under the bed. The side opening needs to be in a location so that the user can see and access the inverter's face. The UBB should be visible from the storage access door. Position the UBB on the bunk floor. Locate the floor collar and place it where you want to create the pass-through hole to the underside of the bunk. Check under the bunk for any obstacles prior to drilling a hole. You will need clearance for a 3-inch circle. Drill a 1 quarter inch pilot hole in the center of the spot to be used for the floor collar. Check under the bunk floor to confirm there is enough space. Use a two and a half inch hole saw and cut the hole in the bunk floor. Place the floor collar into the hole and secure with the retaining nut. Bolt or screw the UBB in place with the included fasteners. The UBB is now installed and we will move on to the evaporator. The evaporator is installed on a high shelf in one of the bunk's closets or on the back wall shelf. Typically, the evaporator is installed on the same side of the truck as the exterior frame rail unit. This assures that the refrigeration lines will have enough length to be properly connected. The evaporator assembly includes two air conditioning refrigeration lines, a power cord, and a plastic drain tube. The air conditioner is shipped with R134A refrigerant in the condensing unit. Step one, prep. Remove the plastic cover from the evaporator. The plastic cover is secured with Velcro and can be removed by starting on one side of the cover and simply pull away from the evaporator. Remove the four mounting legs, the bolts holding the legs, and the Velcro strips near each leg. Save all these components as they will be used later in the process. Step two, drill the holes. Determine which closet opening you would prefer to install the evaporator in and remove the bottom shelf from that closet. In this video, we reinstall the feet back to the sides of the evaporator facing towards the top of the evaporator to secure the evaporator on the shelf above it for support. When you have the evaporator where you want it, mark the mounting holes with a marker. Drill a pilot hole using a 1 8 inch bit. Drill out the pilot holes with a 3 8 inch bit. Step three, preparing the cover. In some evaporator installations, the evaporator enclosure may be more visible than others. The plastic top cover can be reinstalled to cover the sides and bottom of the enclosure as opposed to the top. In this video, since the evaporator ends up inside the closet area, we did not need to do this. Please reference your installation manual for directions on reinstalling the cover on the bottom. Step four, mounting the evaporator. Bring the evaporator into position. Insert supplied hardware through the mounting holes, install washers and nuts, and tighten. Confirm that the evaporator assembly has a slight back tilt. Connect the drain hose to the rear of the evaporator using the hose clamp. Route the refrigerant hoses, power cord, and drain hose to the floor of the bunk. Identify the desired location in the closet floor for a hose pass-through. A two and one half inch floor collar will be used. Check under the closet floor to make sure that there aren't any restrictions or obstacles. Using a one quarter inch drill bit, Mark the center of the two and a half inch floor collar. Using a three inch hole saw, cut only through the carpet and floor insulation. Then change to a two and a half inch blade and cut through the metal floor. 
Insert the two and a half inch floor collar into the hole. Starting at the destination location of the evaporator, feed the refrigerant lines, power cord, and drain hose through the closet shelves. Confirm that the refrigerant lines and drain hose are not kinked and carefully pass each of these through the closet floor collar. Secure the refrigerant lines, drain hose, and the electrical harness to the back wall of the closet. Determine the harness route to the UBB for the power cord and secure the power cord. In this video, we have added a conduit to protect the lines. This is an optional item. Next, we will install the thermostat. Determine the best location for the thermostat. It should be on the bunk side wall or back wall near the OEM's HVAC controls. Be sure to take into account the clearance necessary to open or close the bed before installing the thermostat on the side of a closet. Separate the thermostat into two parts by pulling the base away from the body. Place the cover of the thermostat aside. Using the thermostat's back plate as a template, mark the location where the power cord will exit the back of the thermostat and pass through the wall. Drill the one half inch hole needed for the cord. Use caution when drilling the power cord hole. Upholstery can get caught in the drill bit. Place the thermostat's power cord through the one half inch hole. Bolt the thermostat's base into position using the included mounting bolts. Install the batteries and attach the front panel or cover to the base. If the display lights up, the batteries were installed correctly. Finally, route the thermostat's power cord to the back side of the UBB. Use the connection marked thermostat. Refer to the installation manual for more detailed instructions. The next video in the series will focus on coolant heater hoses, fuel standpipe, and fuel line connections.